majority of all the farms that were along the riverside uh, up in uh, uh, Mbila way uh, were all affected. It would appear from what the farmers have told us that at least they've lost 90% of all the crops, either directly as a result of the uh, of the flood or the wind itself, or as a consequence of it. Uh, in other words, the water clogging of the farms will mean that the vegetables will rot, and the plants, in fact, will also uh, rot. Uh, so. Um, They've also uh, raised some issues about not getting uh, uh, some immediate support uh, from the uh, Ministry of Agriculture, uh, which, as you know, that uh, uh, will 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 get addressed. Um, and also, uh, uh, they have it, it will have a huge impact on our uh, vegetable production from Sumatra Valley. Because uh, if there's going to be a shortage of these uh, vegetables, uh, then obviously uh, it will push up the prices, um, uh, uh, which means that it will fundamentally, more importantly, uh, affect the um, uh, the livelihoods of these people. Because these people are solely dependent on earning from uh, the farms. They don't have any other source of uh, living. They either sell to the local uh, middlemen uh, or they sell directly to the markets. Very few of them do do that. Uh, and they supply locally and they also supply to hotels and they also supply uh, offshore. So uh, that's unfortunately the, the issue. So some of the uh, uh, trees, for example, the pawpaws, if they put in the seedlings, it takes up to nine months for it to bear fruit. Uh, then, of course, you have the other sort of more uh, staple uh, food items like uh, your eggplants and your okras and um, your legumes and various other uh, vegetables uh, and, and fruits, they'll get affected too. So, uh, today, as you know, that uh, government has uh, uh, given them food rations, uh, but also uh, there will be other initiatives uh, that uh, would be announced by the Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, in, in time to come.